All right, so we want to go back in our documentation and find biquad filter node. This is going to be our filter. We're going to do ACTX instead of audio context, and then dot create biquad filter to create one of these things, and then put it in our pipeline. So you can see the properties it's got. It's got frequency and detune, just like how Oscillator had. And again, they're audio params, so they've got a dot value property, and they've got bunch of functions for changing them over time. Same thing with the dot Q and the gain. The dot type is again only going to be a string and just like with the oscillator it can only be certain strings that are already defined. So there's low pass, high pass, band pass, low shelf, high shelf, peaking, notch, and all pass. And for each one you can see what the Q does for it and some of them don't use the Q and you can see what the dot gain does, and you'll see that most of them don't use the dot gain, just low shelf, high shelf, and peaking. So these are going to be the uh, parameters that we're going to manipulate. So back in our app, first we're going to do let filter equal ACTX dot create by quad filter. And then we'll do instead of gain one dot connect out, we'll do filter, and then we'll say filter dot connect to out. So now we just put filter in between gain and the output, the ACTX dot destination variable that we defined earlier. So now we're going to do the same thing that we did with oscillator one settings. We're going to start out with this use state object being an object from the get-go and not singular values split across multiple use state hooks. So what we're going to do is we'll call it just filter settings and set filter settings. Use state, pass it an object. We can do very much all the same this stuff and just change the oscillator one to filter q it's going to be filter q dot value and uh, gain is going to be filter dot gain dot value cool and remember type put it down here type is not going to have a dot value because it's just a string it's not an object. Cool. So there we've got our state values and our default set. Now we can start making a function to pass down to the filter component that we're going to make in a second. So we'll say const change a filter equals e to get the stuff off of the target event and we'll grab value and ID. It's going to be real similar to what we're doing up here. Almost identical. We'll do our state values first. We'll say set filter settings. We'll make another object. We'll spread in there what's currently in our filter settings. And then we will set the one with the key of whatever we're getting from the ID from our event to the value of value. And then on our filter we're going to change uh, whenever again when we get ID we're going to pass it in here and it'll if it's dot frequency or dot Q it's just going to put that in there for us um, value equals value save that and then we'll go over here in our components we'll say new file filter.js rafce I hope you're using your snippets and for right now we'll say h2 filter import this up here and then we'll just put it right under oscillator one and we'll say change will be change filter and then its settings are going to be the filter settings 
save that back in here. Now we got to get those props off of here. And you can see there's our, our H2 right there. So we'll get our change and our settings. And we'll go ahead and start making our little params here. So we'll put an H3, say frequency, and then we'll put an input of type range on change. It's going to be change, and its ID is going to be frequency. And for this one, we'll put a max value of 10,000. So we need we need it to range a little bit uh, higher than 100 so that we'll be able to hear stuff if we're using a low pass filter. Uh, you can go ahead and copy this, paste it one, two, three more times, and instead of instead of saying frequency, you'll just want to say detune there as well on the ID. Here and here, you'll want to say Q. Here and here, you'll want to say gain. And then for these, we do not want maxes of 1,000. For this, we'll put a max of 10. For this, we'll put a max of 10. And for this, we can just remove the max because the default of 100 is fine for that one. Oh, and we want our styles to apply, the same ones we're using up over there. So here in our parent, we're going to say class name equals control because those are the same styles we had back in here so we'll save that all right we'll want to go in here and destructure all of our parameters off of our settings we'll say frequency detune Q gain and type Now we're going to pass these these ones here as our values for the inputs. So we can say value equals frequency. Value equals detune. Value equals Q. And value equals gain or we'll worry about type in a moment. Good, now we can see we have our correct default values and we can see that this is cutting off the higher frequencies, anything higher than where this currently is set to. And that's because the filter's type is default set to low pass filter. So we'll go ahead and start messing with changing the type same way we did with the oscillator. So in our app.js, we're gonna go start creating a function very similar to our change oscillator one type. We're gonna say const change filter type equals E. And we'll say let ID equal E dot target set our filter settings and again it's going to be an object we'll pass our current filter settings and we will set the key of type to the id that we're getting and then on our filter we're going to say dot type is equal to id remember no dot value over here because this is a string and not an object cool so now we're going to pass this to our filter Say change type equals change filter type. And remember our settings that we're passing already have the default of type on them that we're destructuring here. So now we'll want to grab from our props the change type. We'll go down below our other params and we'll say param We'll give it a title of type. And here we'll do buttons again. And we'll give it an 
on click and that's going to be again the change type and we'll say ID of, and here's going to be where we'll put our strings that we can uh, use for different types. We'll say low pass. We'll say class name is equal to backticks dollar sign curly brackets. And if type is equals 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 to low pass, then we are going to add the class of active right here. And if not, we'll put nothing. And then put low pass there. Cool. Now we'll do that four more times, I guess. There's more kinds than that, but we don't need all of them. You can add all of them if you want. I'm not going to do that right now, though. Um, so this will be high pass. We'll say notch for this guy and we'll do a low shelf here high shelf here of course cool 